Hello, hello, friends. Long time no see. Life has been crazy, as, as is tradition. Anyway, random haul video. Because I still have editing and filming and microphone testing that I've been needing to do forever. Anyway, doing haul videos enables me to do that. <laughs> as well as just show you guys the random things. These are like multiple purchases spaced out over however long and it's all just been like piling up and I'm like, you know what? Yeah. So first off, I got another one of these little um, albums from Simple Stories. I have multiples of these. I have like a few different colors and I don't know if they make them anymore, but they used to make the little uh, protectors that were the two inch squares. I don't know. I've been looking for them because I use the, those ones I use for my little like swatches. I did a video forever ago on how I store the blending foams for my Distress Oxide inks. Like, you know, because I don't like attaching them to the bottom of my ink pads or anything like that. So that's what I use is those little two inch page protectors and I stick the different blending foams in them and I have an album for that. Anyway. Anyway, I got the album and I got a bunch, like quite a few packs of the, just the three by four pocket pages. My plan is to cut down a bunch of smooth white cardstock and to do different like color combo blends, you know, because one, got another set of new colors, which I'll get to that in a second. And mostly like, so well, starting with the distress colors, because there's just with all the new colors that have come out, you know. So I was like, oh, that would be kind of nice to have like a binder with just a bunch of different color combo ideas, blending ideas, etc. And then I would start with Distress. I want to do like Simon's Positively Saturated Inks, you know. So that was the plan with this. When do I get to it? I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see videos. I know Christina Werner already does. Usually when each new color is released, I know she's done videos with like four, I think four-ish, four or five different combos. And I really liked that. And other, I've seen other makers do the same thing. And I was like, oh, I need to do that too, because it just, yeah, I'm always like, Ooh, this color will look great with this. Da, da, da. And it's just nice when you're feeling like in a funk, flip through some color blend, look online, you know? So I got that. I finally got I've had people asking me about this. Um, Spellbinders released this universal plate system. So this isn't a review because <laughs> I literally, it just got here, but I am very um, excited about this because normally, in fact, I'm gonna grab it to show. Normally, what you have with like the standard, specifically small binders. Um, okay, you have your platform, your cutting plates. There's different, I use like I have the six by six ones as well. It doesn't really matter, but like your platform and your cutting plates, you know? And then with, when you buy like a spellbinders machine, you also do get the embossing plate and the embossing mat. And this I use when I'm, embossing like my wafer dies or my stencils versus cutting or using a stencil, you know? So that's all well and good. But now with all the different embossing folders and products on the market, um, I do use, and I've shown when I use like Simon's, specifically Simon's 3D folders, cause these obviously I have a bunch of, um, I use my metal shims, which again are right here, I happen to have two. These are not made by Spellbinders. Simon has some, um, I'll link to them. But that's how I do my embossing folder, specifically Simon's is the platform. I have two metal shims and then the embossing folder with the cardstock. So, so far so good. However, like I said, with all of the products that have come out in the last couple years, you know, all these brands, there have always been just different things. So Spellbinders did the universal plate system. 
And of course, I immediately ordered it as soon as I saw it because I was like, oh, this might be awesome. So this one is different. Like I said, I'm not doing a review right now because I literally I haven't used it. I'm 99% positive Spellbinders already has videos on their own channel. I know Yana Smakula did one more so just kind of just going over the basics of it. But I think Spellbinders does have an actual video on their channel that like explains it in depth. But anyway, the whole point of it is you've got your platform base. There is a platform top. And this is actually, I don't know, I don't think it'll really show. There is like the thinnest little like shim down the center of this. So you can cut there when I get, there you go. When you get the glare, you can kind of see it, you know? So it's just, just a fraction thicker in the middle. That alone, I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. Because often when I'm using like large, when you're using like a large, embossing folder, a large wafer die, like a full card wafer die, or just a large intricate wafer die. It's the middle. It's always the hardest part sometimes to get, you know, that full impression, that full cut, etc. So just that little bit of a shim is supposed to make a difference and I bet it will. I'm, I was like, yes. It's also longer, these plates, than the standard, which I already put away. So this is what the Platinum 6 standard platform size was. So just to give you an idea of, let me move this out of the way. So this is the um, the universal plate system one. The point being you can use like your slimline dies with this size etc because with this you'd have to run it through partially and then run it through a second time unless you have this, like the platinum like the big machine. So there's that. Um, this is this base is again slightly thinner than this than what it used to be and the whole point is these different shims and all the things so yeah you've got the platform base there's the platform top which has like i said that little bit of a shim already built into the middle there's this little shim Again, thin, but sometimes that's all you need is just that little extra bit. So there's that one. You get your embossing mat, your like rubber mat. There's an adapter plate, and then you have your cutting plates. All again, which are like slightly extended. So there's all sorts of things it lists that it is, you know, compatible with. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they have videos and they'll, there will be more. So this just is going to make it, I'm just excited. Like, yeah. Shipping FYI, if you're international, like Simon ships all over the world. Um, shipping outside of the U S though, you do have to pay a bit of a chunk. I knew I would have to, cause this is heavy. Any of the heavy crafting items that we, you know, need to get. So for me, worth it, because I'm probably going to get a heck of a lot more use. <laughs> Even though I already, you know, my only, I'm going to be looking forward to fiddling with this, with the uh, hot foil system, because I sometimes wonder if, I don't know. This just gave me ideas, like I've already been doing a little bit of a shim down the center. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some playing, but yeah. That's, that's enough rambling about that part of it. So I got that. Um, and like I showed, I finally got, I got my order of the new Distress Color Uncharted Mariner. It's gorgeous. I haven't even swatched it or anything. Like it is such a gorgeous color. I'm very much looking forward to doing like, yeah, swatches and doing some blends and oh, it's so pretty. So, yeah, kind of like all the other Distress products. You got spray stain, oxide spray, Distress ink, oxide ink, paint, Distress, distress ink refill, oxide refill, the um, embossing glaze, and then if you get the whole little like set, you can get the, the little pin with it as well, which I just stick on my pin board because you can. So, very, um, yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> and then randomly, <laughs> I 
I ordered, I, I spotted them in the store. I haven't seen anyone use these. And I like, I ordered two of these because they just, these ones made me laugh. Like I'd ordered these before I saw these and I just laughed. So I got these uh, handy clips from, these are Couture Creations. So the idea would be to use these. I don't even have like a scrap of cardstock sitting here, do I? Do I? Where did my, where did all my scraps go? There you go. The idea being you can like, you know, go like this if you're feet embossing. Personally, I don't have a problem. You know, when you guys have shown like people have always asked like, how do you not burn yourself? I'm just aware of where my fingers are when I'm heat embossing. However, this is a great way, you know, heat embossed, you can hold it with your little clip. And then the thing I liked about these was like, oh, these will sit in the same holder like as my paintbrushes and stuff. So these are cute. But then I couldn't resist. I saw these. <laughs> Uh, and they just, I don't know what, it just made me laugh. So this is the, the Ranger Handle It. Like a little applause. How cute. So they each have their own things. I'll link to both. The thing I like about these is because they have these little like rubbery, you know, grip. Like it'll grip your cardstock, but it's not gonna leave a mark. Like these could, it's not super tight though, like, yeah, like these can like leave little indents in your cardstock, which most of the time isn't gonna matter, but again, you know, and yeah, these will sit better in my like holder than this will, but this is just hilarious and I think it's funny. That's why I got two of them, because knowing me, I'm probably gonna lose one anyway, you know? But yeah. <laughs> so I got those. And then also with my Spellbinder stuff, I couldn't resist. I grabbed a couple of packs. This is the Aura Opalescent and Peach Opalescent sequins. These sequins do not have holes in them. They're just your standard like cupped sequins, but without holes in them. So these peach ones kind of like a nice gold sort of color. So I thought they would just, the colors were very neutral. So I was like, ooh, these will pretty much go with anything. Like I need more bling, I have ridiculous amounts of it but mm. so I got those I also found I found this this I had ordered this forever ago I mentioned it when I did that um box card uh video with the Adirondack chair and I was like I know I have sand embossing powder yeah this is why I couldn't find it because I was looking for a container here where it's makes sand embossing powder this one is Seth after uh dirty sand yeah, by Emerald Creek. So hopefully I can have a link to it. I don't even know. Like I ordered this forever ago. But yeah, it's a really pretty color. I'm not the biggest fan of this sort of packaging for embossing powder. But I think if I'm just, yeah, I'll have to carefully open this up. Like, I just, I can see myself getting this absolutely everywhere in a package like this, but it really does look like sand. So that's just, yeah, it would have been perfect for that card. Anyway, and I'll link to that if I remember. So I got that one. I also got uh, this Ranger, they call it Bubbly embossing powder. It's supposed to be, I think, a champagne color. And I was like, hmm, I don't really have anything like this sort of color, so. So I got that one. And then another cool one I got was this Cosmic Shimmer. This is embossing sprinkles and it's called Snowstorm. And it's chunky, variegated sizes of this white embossing powder. Obviously my immediate thing was this would look so cool. Sprinkle it on a background. You'll have to heat it from below because you don't want it bloating or whatever. Heat it from below and it'll look like snow. So I think it's cool. So I got that one. I also picked up this Gonzai Tombi graphite colors, which looks very, very boring in the package, of course, but it caught my eye because one, I have all the Gonzai Tombi palettes. Like you guys have seen me use my Starry Colors palette a million times. That one is like a must have, highly recommend because it's got all the shades of like gold and I use it for splatter and I've shown it a million times in videos. The other ones are fun too. I just don't reach for them as often. 
and this one I think will be more, yeah, for just sort of random little things. But the thing that really got me with this one was when you're done like painting with it, it says like after it's dry, if you polish the surface, it'll kind of buff it away and make it look more metallic. I was like, hmm. So I will have to use this like in a video to actually show how it looks, but yeah, it was just, it was different. And I was like, ooh, love. So got that. And then last but certainly not least, I picked up these Ulta New packs of glitter cardstock. And I just thought these would just be convenient because I love the size. You know, I don't mind my big packs or anything, but I was like, oh, these are going to be so perfect for like sentiments, you know, because that's usually what I use my glitter cardstock for the most is to die cut sentiments. So there's this gilded pack that has, you know, all these different shades of gold and silver, you know, and it's just like all the other ones I've shown, like other brands in my videos, this doesn't shed, you know. So there's that one. And then there were three color packs. So we've got Ocean Reflection. It's so pretty. Oh, look at the colors. The Ocean Reflection. This one I was like, yas. <laughs> I need to get it open so I can show you guys. So this one is Pink Brilliance. Ooh, that color's really pretty. They're all really pretty, but yeah. So that's Pink Brilliance. And then we've got um, Forest Canopy. Yes, look at those greens. Oh, aren't those gorgeous? Okay, those, and then last but not least, and this one I should have probably got like multiple packs. This was the um, Dazzling Diamond. So it's its own little, oh yeah, I should have got more of these. There's a fair bit in here, but you know, that is really pretty. <laughs> it's like a mixture of, really, really fine silver. And then like, it's just, yeah, that is really pretty. I should have got more packs of that, but anyway, anyway. Okay, so yeah, I rambled, showed you guys the things. Um, like always, I will have links below to all of it. Hopefully, hopefully. Check it out below. You can also check out my blog post. My blog post is always linked directly below the video. And in the blog post, it's picture links makes everyone's lives a little easier, you know, so you can just see everything. Um, also, you guys can follow me on my social medias. Uh, my Facebook especially is like kind of the most popular and easiest way for me to like fully interact with you guys. So I have links to that as well, like my social media, my blog, all the things. So you can check that out. And that's it for the moment. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And I will see you guys hopefully very, very soon. Like right away with another video. <laughs> okay, bye guys.